Wow. And then all we up here we yeah. had um, we went all the way to the <laughs> Garlic Brothers. The Garlic Brothers? Yeah. Oh, right. So it's out. Oh, okay. So it's right within the, the oh, so you hit it, man. Point. That's just right on the money. The the contour is perfect. The FCC oh, contour, you know, they just right there. Wow. It is just beautiful. Great. At least the, the chunk I checked in. But uh, it's just beautiful driving yeah, right in the so center of town. It sounds great. Cool. Pristine CD hey. quality. Well, it is about to be the stroke of noon <laughs> on January the 1st, 2015. The first official ever broadcast from KWDC 93.5 here on the Delta College campus. What a historic moment. I don't know why I'm talking first. We got people here that have laid the foundation. I, I want to bring Don over here because, because Governor Don is the man uh, that has led the charge to put this on the air. Don, how does it feel to be broadcasting right now? Get some headphones on. It is. It's quite amazing. We need headphones. I'm, I'm we need totally, headphones. totally stoked. Uh, that was the doing it wrong. That, that <laughs> was the problem. Exactly. So long in the studio doing it the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to do it the right way. Yeah, is that even plugged? Is that thing plugged oh, in? Oh, they're plugged in. Hello, is this they're thing plugged on? Plugged. They're plugged in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's, a, it's quite a thrill um, as far as... Leading the charge, I think that goes to uh, our esteemed leader, Professor William Story. Yeah, but he'll never get on the microphone. No, <laughs> never. No, no, he's, a, he's behind the Always line behind guy. the camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr. It's that faint voice in the distance that just you hear. The, yes, the, I just do the B.O. It's, that's it's, right. Yes, it's the voice on the shoulder that tells you the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, so the folks that are listening right now, and, and there are many now because all of a sudden here we are. Yes. What is KWDC? Tell me, Don, what is KWDC? KWDC is the voice of Stockton. Uh, our, our goal is to be the community outlet, a place where uh, people in, in our area can turn to for local information, things that are relevant to their lives, news, sports, arts, entertainment. Um, uh, the, the, the voice of Stockton is what we want to be. It's not just a, a name we picked, but it's something that um, it's very important to us, and I think it's very important to our community as well. Well, that's a pretty lofty title, though, the voice of Stockton. <coughs> There's a lot of choices in Stockton. Why would anybody pick us? Well, we were going to go with just the voice, but that was already taken. <laughs> 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 no. Um, <laughs> well, I could say with some, some confidence that there are not very many uh, voices of Stockton on the Stockton airwaves. Uh, you don't, we don't have much... Stockton Broadcasting. So why would somebody choose us? Um, well, we're kind of like, you know, you know, one of the few shows in town. So, you know, if, if you're going to choose somebody, you're gonna, you might you just happen to land on us. But, um, but the real reason why people should choose KWDC is because of our intention, because of our spirit, because of our commitment to uh, our town and our area, to our uh, campus here at San Joaquin Delta College to our uh, department, radio television department, to um, to the greater uh, community, the people in our area, the residents, the businesses, the organizations, people who care about our town from our perspective. You know, we don't want to be the uh, you know echo machine of bad news. We know that there's more out there to see and to hear about, and so. That's our mission. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 This, we're gonna forever keep yeah. a yeah. live yeah. studio audience. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. So amazing. For those of you guys expecting to hear bubblegum pop and uh, recycled garbage that corporate America <laughs> shoving down your throat, you're at the wrong station. Yeah, that's right. You're that's right. at the wrong station. Yeah, actually, this is a re recorded studio audience. We just pressed the applause button. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo uh, and I'm fine with that. This has been a wonderful adventure. I thank everyone, everyone that uh, has participated in the process to help us get to the point where we actually have a KWDC LP Stockton. This is the voice of Stockton, and we will be the voice of Stockton for a long, long time to come, thanks to all of these wonderful people. Thank you. Where's our, where's our program director at? Come on, Gabe, get in there. Oh, yeah, holy cow, PD. Come on, Gabe. <laughs>
My name is Gabe Alcantara, and Thank I you. am the voice of Stockton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are. We got a few more voices in here. Come on in. Jump in. Hello, everyone. My name is Miami, and I guess I'm the voice of Stockton. Yeah. <laughs> good guess. Good guess. Please come in. Hi, I'm Quincy Ginsberg, and I also am the voice of Stockton. Thank you, everyone. And so we're going to go ahead and play a little music. Actually, Don, why don't you tell a little bit about the history of, uh, of today, why today was so special for broadcasting? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the whole time we were feverishly uh, working for this day, I kept thinking, oh, man, maybe we should do it like in April. <laughs> 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 so, so today is uh, it's the first of the year. And um, what happened on the first of the year? Well, you know, all of us woke up this morning and we, we, we decided to come here. We were crazy for it. <laughs> for it. But uh, 106 years ago, something very significant happened uh, on January 1st in 1909. So there, there was, a, back then, they, they didn't call radio radio. They called it wireless. And uh, so what it was is people would... Uh, send messages from one point to another. And so there was a, 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 a brilliant, brilliant professor by the name of Charles David Harold, who was a, uh, an, an electrical engineer. And he had the notion of sending a signal not just to one point, but to all surrounding areas. So he, he uh, along with his uh, loyal band of, of insane students, uh, <laughs> decided to build uh, an enormous tower that housed uh, 11,500 feet of wire, <laughs> several miles of wire, and they were a, a broadcast station um, in the very real sense and the first sense. And how he explained how he knew that he was a broadcaster is that he said, well, I, I had to build the receivers <laughs> for, for everyone to listen. So he was, yeah. he was going all around the, the valley in, the, in, the, in San Jose um, building uh, what they called uh, crystal set receivers. Mm -hmm. And that's how they listened to radio signals back then. So, so he starts up the school and uh, he brings on board one of the one of a immediate uh, uh, um, an attachment to him uh, became a very close associate was a student by the name of Ray Newby. Uh, he was uh, from Stockton, California, and he was only 16 at the time. <coughs> it's quite interesting. He was also the what they called wireless code instructor, which was the Mor Morse code instructor. So some 16 year old is teaching people how to do Morse code, and he's, he's teaching you know, people with college students. <coughs> and uh, on that first day, they had the brilliant notion of uh, broadcasting music, which some which no one had done before. So on January first in 1909, they uh, it, it was actually at 9 p.m., which uh, uh, you will be able to hear us uh, hopefully at that at that time as well. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we're still on at 9 p.m. <laughs> but anyhow, they began to broadcast music on the airwaves to to multiple locations, and it was the first ever um, musical broadcast. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's a little bit of Stockton history. Like I said, he was from Stockton, California. I believe he lived down there in South Stockton on, the, uh, I can't remember the name of the street now, but uh, uh, I've, I've been listening to interviews, old timey stuff, real cool stuff. And um, yeah, so we, we have uh, Charles Harold to thank for broadcasting. They call him the father of broadcasting. And, uh, and young Ray Newby, who had the, the gumption to play music on the radio. He, he loved to play, they like to play um, Victor Red Seal 78s because they were quality records, but they they um, usually played Enrico Caruso, mm -hmm. and uh, if you know about him, yeah. uh, I know the older, oh, the, the mature people here know about <laughs> him. The, <laughs> the, uh, the yes, the trusted, wise people here who know who know what good music is, uh, know about Enrico Caruso. And if you've watched any of those uh, black and white or, or uh, old mobster movies, you know of course they, he's like a staple in that because he's a, he's like was the most famous singer at the time, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and still even history is one of the greatest tenors. Um, so they played his records because man, they could carry that sound a long way. Man, that voice really traveled through the airwaves. So, um, and we have some of that too. We have some Enrico Caruso we're going to play today <coughs> at, at 3 o'clock. And, um, and you'll be able to check it out and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But yeah, that's, that's, that's why we wanted to do this commemorative broadcast today because we wanted to, um, you know, 
to 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 be become part of this history and uh, this long legacy of radio. You know, the, he, here we are now again, uh, trying to be the first. You know, to to think of this uh, this radio idea back how it used to. You know, when when I was coming up, I think that we really thought radio belonged to the people, and um, somewhere along the line, we kind of lost that. But radio is no less powerful a medium. If you want to think about how does a, a person become a hit recording artist, they get they know they're a hit when they're on the radio. So radio is still very powerful, and radio is advancing because it's converging with the modern technology of the internet and video. So, you know, a modern radio station it is somewhat of a of a TV station or somewhat of a a video station. It, you know, it's all these things rolled together. So, you know, that's uh, that's us. Uh, Putting our two cents in, in, in attaching ourselves to the history, and, and uh, we want to, we would like to one day say that we've been you know on the air all these many years, and, and you know we'd love to have a, a good positive influence in our community as well. So that's what today's broadcast is about. That's why we asked everyone to come out. That's why we we're working so feverishly to get it on by <laughs> by the first of the year. And so here's our 106th year celebrating uh, Stockton Radio. And so thank you, everybody, and thank you for, sh for showing up and celebrating with us. Yeah. 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 Let the broadcast day officially begin. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations to us all. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy, New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year, my friends. You are listening to KWDC LP Stockton 93.5 FM, KWDCRadio.org. Yeah, Let's go party. Let's party right now. Party time. We got a party party.